NBA 2K16 Mobile. I never thought I'll be saying these words again. In my opinion, this is the best 2K game on mobile. And even on console, it's one of the best 2Ks. And you want to know why? Before we do that, let's take it back a couple years. Wait, wait, wait. Pause the video real quick. If you remember this intro on my channel, you're an OG, man. Congratulations. Thank you so much for sticking with me. There's so much more to come. And before we progress, thank you guys so much for 34,000 subscribers as well. We just recently hit it. We're on the grind to 50K. I love you guys so much. Let's get on with the video. So my first reaction after seeing this intro, this trailer, was just pure joy because it looked amazing. I quickly noticed the improved graphics from the previous game and also I noticed the new controls as well. I was so hyped, I couldn't wait to play this game man. And the main reason why 2K16 Mobile holds a special place in my mind and in my heart is not only because it was such a good game and that it was fun, but because it was THE game that got my channel going and got me some recognition. 2016 was the year I started getting some views, getting some subscribers, just really enjoying YouTube overall. It was a fun time and I was just making videos for the fun of it. Dang, everything has changed so much. Looking back at my older videos, I cringe so much because of how bad they were in hindsight. Okay, we've got time. We can get the last shot. Let's take our time. Let's slow the game down. All right, boys, let me show you how it's done. Okay, let's dance on Bill of Adobe. Let's shake him up. Okay, give me a screen pick and roll. Get out my way or get in that poster. Woohoo! We dunked on LeBron. Get in that poster, boy. That's what I'm talking about. That's how you end the quarter in style and fast. I think I did a pretty good job of what I had at that time. I made the best out of what I had. Also, I look up to these earlier videos because they give me a sense of pride of how far I've come and that I can always keep improving. I'm pretty sure a year from now, I'll look at this video and be like, what was I thinking? But <laughs> that's the beauty. You just keep learning and improving. Enough reminiscing. Let's dive into why this game was so good. So this was the first year we got a right stick and we could actually control our dribble moves. This made the game less random in my opinion and added a needed skill gap because you could now perform a variety of moves and combos that when mastered look so good. Defense could have been better in my opinion because it was a little bit annoying to play defense on a fast break but nobody really complained because of how good the offense was and how fun the game was overall. It's crazy how just an addition of a tiny feature like a right stick for example can send the game from good to great. Next up, we're going to be talking about the My Career aspect of NBA 2K16 Mobile. And as we all know, the My Career mode in 2K is probably the most popular mode after My Park, obviously. But it's all linked. You have to play My Career before you play My Park. So this is why this game, NBA 2K16 Mobile, is my favorite 2K of all time. And probably your reason for liking the game as well. The My Career mode was so well done from the character customization to the build selection and the gameplay. It seems like every year since then, it's got worse. And they keep removing things that made the previous game so great. It's really sad. 2k doesn't have too much competition because they can pretty much do what they want and people are still gonna buy the game let's take the character customization for example in this game you could edit your player's weight you could edit the wingspan as well i think you could edit his nickname you could even choose if you wanted your player to be ripped or not which is just crazy there was so much you could do to your player you could select the college you were from you could select your birthday you could select if you wanted your left hand or your right hand to be a dominant dunk hand bro like going back to this game and looking at it it's so crazy how we took everything for granted and how good that game was let me not even forget that was a jump shot creator as well you could really customize the jump shot from the base to the release and even the release speed i don't know why they took all of this away because no one really complained and i think they were excellent features in my opinion also 2k16 mobile had the best build selection of any 2k mobile in my opinion there were so many options all of them were pretty good you could select the scoring player defensive player an all-around player an athletic player i think there were even more there were so many options and all of them were pretty good you could even select your player's tendencies and his play type you could choose if you wanted your player to be an iso scorer a pick and roll player it's kind of like the archetype system we have now but it's more expanded also looking back at the badge system they had we couldn't have so many badges on our player like we have now we had so many OP badges. I think you could select about four or five badges maximum on your player. 
and you could switch them up that was the beauty so from one game your player could be dunking on everybody the next game you'd be a three-point specialist <laughs> and also the badges were so easy to get as well i think you just needed to buy them with vc they weren't expensive at all and speaking of vc it was so easy to get in this game i think you got about 2000 vc by playing a black top game depending on how well you do i think if you made like a lot of threes or if you play like a 5v5 you could get so much vc in a short time so it's so easy to grind out your player and level him up to like a 99 overall that made this game even better because you don't have to waste too much time and you could just have fun also the difficulty in my career was actually well difficult <laughs> it's not like in these current 2ks where you can just be dropping like 70 80 points every game no it wasn't like that back then the cpu actually put up a fight the cpu was actually smart and also the games were really close a lot of the games went down to the wire that just made it more fun when you're able to grind through a tough game and come out with a w also one reason why the games were close was because you could only play i think five minutes per quarter and we couldn't change that that was one annoying thing about this game the my career length was very short you could only play five minutes per quarter and also you got subbed out in the game as well but i mean it wasn't too bad because it made the games that much more intense and also you could get through a season quickly but if we had the option to adjust the time bro it would have just been perfect moving on to graphics the graphics were amazing in this game as well for the time period that it was released and for those devices it was quite amazing even though graphics have improved in general in 2k mobile with the addition of cloud simulation for example in current 2k mobile games and also nba 2k mobile's amazing graphics don't get me wrong this game did didn't look bad at all the players look well defined the game was well optimized for a lot of devices and it was smooth i never really saw people complaining that my game is lagging or the game crashing a lot it was really well optimized also there were cut scenes in this game which is crazy to think of i know we've been asking for cut scenes in nba 2k20 mobile but it's funny that we forget that we had them in this game for example after your rookie showcase your first game in my career you had some cut scenes and dialogue when you were selecting your team also when requesting for a trade or visiting the gm there were some cutscenes as well. I'll probably do a video talking about cutscenes in NBA 2K20 Mobile and how I would like to see them because they were in this game. I think it's a possibility. Another thing that made this game so good that has been removed currently is the social media section. It was so nice to get challenged by NBA players, especially in your rookie season when you were trying to prove yourself and even talk some trash. The social media section we have now in NBA 2K19 Mobile is not even nearly as good as what we had in 2K16 Mobile. I mean, it's these tiny little things that make a game so good because with some Something like the social media section from 2K16 Mobile, you could tell they put some thought into it and also they cared about the game they were making. But now it's like, ah, they just put out the game and they're like, whatever. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm overreacting and you guys have a different opinion or you had a different experience with NBA 2K16 Mobile because that also counts because the game can fundamentally be really good. But if you don't have a good experience with it, maybe you were not good at the time it was released, it's probably not going to be that good for you. But I think it's safe to say the NBA 2K16 Mobile was pretty good for the most part. And as I just said, experience counts as well. And the game was 10 times better for me because my YouTube channel was getting off the ground because of this game. So it just made it that much more special for me. I'm just hoping the next 2K Mobile games, probably 2K20 Mobile is going to have some features from NBA 2K16 Mobile. Like that would be so good. So I just wanted to make this quick video and let you guys know what 2K Mobile game I think is my favorite. Let me know down below which one is your favorite is it this game maybe 2k15 mobile 2k17 mobile or even 2k19 mobile I'll, I'll be pretty shocked if anyone has 2k19 mobile is your favorite well it could probably be if it's your first game but other than that it will be a shocker <laughs> also let me know what you really like from 2k16 mobile as well if you actually played the game thank you guys so much for all the support this video took a while to edit so if you guys can drop a like on it it will mean so much i'll really appreciate it subscribe to the channel as well if you're new and i'll be back with some more bangers stay bookmarked Apparently, he's a dead eye now. <laughs> he doesn't miss shots. Oh, good defense from Butler. And he breaks the shot. There we go. Now we can take the lead with a bucket. I'm going to the wing. Oh, come on. Look at the disrespect. It's got to stop. Put some respect on my shot. <laughs>